Hey everyone, it's Dr. Z. Okay, I put out a video yesterday about Erin Marie and her video about being the epicenter undercover nurse at Elmhurst Hospital, a county public hospital in New York at the epicenter of the COVID-19 epidemic. In her video, I went through and very rationally debunked a lot of the stuff she said, but none of that matters. What matters is she has created a kind of harm that is so inexcusable that it makes me seethe with anger and I'm going to try to control that anger to tell you what's happened since. Since I put out that video, I've gotten message after message from frontline healthcare workers, doctors and nurses and trainees and residents and fellows who work at Elmhurst during one of the worst experiences in modern memory in healthcare, taking care of a rush of sick, sick, sick COVID patients, all of whom were trying to die in a situation where they had limited resources and all hands were on deck. We had volunteer doctors who reached out to me who were cited she, she did this undercover expose where she recorded them without their permission and put it out on the internet, accusing them of murder, accusing them of incompetence, these caring, amazing clinicians. And why do I say this? Because they've told me their stories that they can't say publicly. Why? Because they're effing professionals. Because they actually listen when we talk about patient privacy. They can't even fight back. So they email me out of desperation saying, please keep this anonymous, but here's why what she said is not just wrong, it's hurtful. We have staff that are there losing patients they're trying to save to a disease nobody understands yet, and they're crying in private in the call rooms, in the hallways, and she's calling them murderers. This woman who comes from Florida gets hazard pay as part of crucial staffing solely with an agenda to do this expose so she can get views. This is someone who's anti-vaccine, who spouts conspiracy theories on her website, and she comes in and does this inexcusable act to people who actually care. And what do they do? They reach out to me because they don't have a voice. I have argued time and time again that we should speak out when we see injustice in healthcare, when we're being mistreated, when our patients are being mistreated. And people said, well, Z-Dog, isn't that what she's doing? No, she's a con artist who's using other people's suffering to further her own, her own fame. And you want to see heroes? You want to see people who want to speak out but can't? They're the people who are emailing me. I'm going to take their stories. I'm going to print them verbatim and anonymize them on my website where this video will live. And I want you to read them. They deserve to be heard. They are, they are so demoralized. And I want to tell you guys, everybody at Elmhurst Hospital who's listening to this, who work with this woman, who fed back to me who exactly she is. Someone who is not an ICU nurse, was never trained to be an ICU nurse, had to be taught how to suction an ET tube. This is the same person who's claiming to understand COVID and all the mismanagement that's going on. Is there, are there mistakes? Yes. Are there trainees? Yes. Are there bad doctors? Yes. But is this the way that you speak out through straight slander of good people who are behaving heroically in a time of need, who are volunteering, who are getting sick and dying of COVID? No, and we won't stand for it. Share this video, that's it. Read the stories, let's give them a voice. All right, that's it.